Caterpillar control on a passion flower vine. During the fall, many species of butterflies make their way through the south searching for food on their migratory path. Certain species, of course, are attracted to certain plant species. The Gulf fritillary butterfly depends on many species of passion flower for their survival. While gardeners may wish to discourage heavy infestations, light infestations of the Gulf fritillary caterpillar should be encouraged. Identification The Gulf fritillary caterpillar is orange with black spines along the length of its body. The adult female caterpillar lays its eggs singly on the leaves of the passion flower vine. The eggs are small and yellow. The Gulf fritillary prefers to lay its eggs on several different species of passion flower, including Maypops passiflora incarnata, running pop passiflora fetida, blue passion flower passiflora carulia, and corky stem passion flower passiflora subarosa. Damage In large numbers, the butterfly larvae are capable of defoliating a passion flower vine. While such devastation is by no means desirable, encouraging the larvae is recommended, as the butterflies rely on passion flower vines for their survival. According to Kathy Nordstrom of eNature.com, a healthy passion flower vine should bounce back from defoliation. Just remember that the two species have been evolving together for millions of years. The plant will know what to do. Control If you find that you can't stand to watch your passion flower vines be destroyed every year, you might consider either controlling the caterpillar population, increasing the passion flower population, or both. Growing more passion flower vines will disperse the amount of caterpillars among many plants, thus preserving the vines. If that isn't an option, inspect the vines for caterpillar eggs and remove some of them before they can hatch. Do not remove all the eggs. Other Caterpillars The polka dot wasp moth's larvae look similar to that of the Gulf fritillary. These caterpillars are very destructive and the adults are no more desirable than the larvae. You can identify their eggs because there are multiple eggs per leaf, as opposed to the single egg of the Gulf fritillary. The larvae are about an inch long and feed on the underside of oleander bushes. They shouldn't appear on your passion flower vine so don't remove gulf fritillary eggs out of fear that they are polka dot wasp moth eggs. 